Welcome everyone to more Hogwarts Legacy and let's continue on with the gameplay. All right, uh, where did I leave off? Let's talk back to the professor, right? I'm ready for the next lesson, professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I mean, have I not, like, gathered enough? I would like to. Professor Garlic, I've seen many letters. It's not, I'm not, I'm not going to read any of those. Guardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Okay. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I have the moonstone. Okay, the yeah, cool. Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? I honestly couldn't care less of how this room looks. But we'll give it a try. Now, how do I conjure again? Nah, no, that's not right. Wait, I gotta I gotta use a conjuring spell. Saying conjuring actually doesn't really <laughs> Or use animal heads or wall hangings. I guess I'll just drop one there. I, why do I need a mirror again? Oval mirror? Why a mirror? Uh, are these wall decorations? Wall hangings, rugs, furniture. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I just don't want no random R on there. Why would I want someone knitting? The hell? No, oh, Niffler. It's a Niffler and Witch Portrait. Gazing Wizard. Okay, nope. Some random old man in, in a top hat. Okay. That's oddly disturbing. What? What is this even doing? Nurse and Baby Portrait? Why, why, don't, why would anyone want that? What the... I, I guess the only normal one is gazing wizard portrait. That is a flat surface. Uh, I really don't like this. I rather just go back to the mirrors. I rather have a thousand mirrors in any of these portraits. Uh, let's go with that, and let's go for the oval mirror. Oval mirror, perfect. Just, just place one on every opening I, I can find. And may want a mirror? You either have this one. Uh, let's go with that one. There you go, perfect, perfect. Fresh to death. All right. Okay. And now floor decorations. Okay, so I'm gonna get a rug here. Kind of like this red one. I want a big rug. There you go. That's how you do it. My guy really is gonna like, interrupt on that. Okay, well now that's now it's too big. Should I get like a smaller rug for the desks, maybe? There you go. Let's place you right there for that. And then let's hope these don't catch on fire, actually. Perfect. Let's get another rug. Let's place this one. Right there, that matches. And let's, um, let's see. What else can I do? Does this count? I actually like this one. Good work. 
Perfect. Shall we move on? Yes, please. This is like so boring and I wasted a lot of my moonstones. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Why is this important? Why do I need, why do I care? Because <laughs> I don't care at all. All right, just get this over with. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell. Wait, which one's the altering spell? Wait, this one? Yeah, just place it there. So I just basically this a quick change menu. Just a spell for that. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um Disable snapping. I don't I don't see what that does. Either way, let's just leave it at it is. Alter the style of any item. Damn it. Uh go back to that. How do I alter color? Oh F, change color. Uh let's see. I kinda like the red already. I mean, red was kinda cool. We just keep it as is for now. Oh dude, I changed the color of this rug. No, I don't want to rotate it. I just want to let's go with let's go with white. No, let's match the let's match the desk. It's more it's more purple, right? There you go. Alter the style of anyone. Uh. Okay. I mean, does it really matter what style it is? Okay, just the size of an item. Uh, shoot. Um, this rug seems a little too small. Let's go. Let's go bigger. Back up a bit. Just a little bit. Why is that get? Why, that got exponentially bigger. That did not work. Okay, hold on. Now what am I about to do? Okay, let's just uh, make this bigger. Buy that, and then boom. Yes, we're done. Like what? What? Why is this abhorrent? Why do I care how a balcony looks? Honestly, these designs suck. Actually, that's actually pretty cool. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? No. Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Doesn't really match, doesn't it? Talk to Deke when you're ready. What do you want, Deke? Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um, cool moonlit ambiance sounds perfect. I like something natural and earthy. I focus best in the room that is dark and mysterious. Let's try the um uh, moonlit. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. 
The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Okay, cool. Now I can leave, right? Please let me leave. Protego. Wrong button. Okay, challenge complete, complete side relationship quest. Okay. No lie, I do like this moonlit ambiance. Alright, where am I going now? This 3D map is kind of hard to tell. Like, I, if I could just like look down. I need this one. I have family in America. I wonder if I could transfer to Ilvermorny and come back when he's gone. All right, let's see. Where is that thing taking me? Is that Professor Fig's place? Yes, it is. Hey, Fig, I, I need that book. You. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt and- You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting to say yes. that. Yes. And then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. All right, cool. I'm glad it just automatically teleported. Oh, damn. Teleporting me back here. The room is called the map chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Ah. Uh, Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. To think it was beneath us all this time.
Hogs. Hogs meat. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. All right, so now what? Oh, there goes the Professor Rackham. Hello, Professor Rackham. Rackham up. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? Um... No, I don't. I do recall seeing the memory, but I don't remember all of the details. My friend Charles and I spoke of the port key and of trials we'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. Maybe. I think I like vaguely recall seeing it, but not really. I don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. Um, you still haven't told me where it is. You know, like, don't you think that information could be, you know, uh, helpful? You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can until then be careful and do not tell anyone where you're going 
All right, cool. I'll tell Sebastian as soon as he acts. All right, where to now? Because I have no idea what to do next. So I got the flight test, uh, demanding delivery. Okay. And then I got Wingadorum Leviosa. I got to go back to uh, Herbology, I think. Acquiring used a venomous tectacula. I, I don't know how to... Meet, meet Professor Fig at the tower. Okay. So we're going to go off course a little bit. I'm going to want to complete some of these. Uh, acquiring use of focus potion. I, I don't know how to do that. Acquire maxima and endurance potions and use them simultaneously. Okay. The thing is like, it doesn't really track them. It doesn't charms class. Now I need to go to Herbology, which is over here. I think it still has some bitney, bitney there too as well. You can't imagine how it can learn to resist the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, ah, I I bit my bitney. I said, I said bitney, didn't I? I miss it. I was, I miss like everything she said. Either way, let's go craft a Wigan Weld potion, I think. That's what I need, right? Damn it, I forgot. Okay, let's go to... What was it? Potions class? No, nope, that's not it. No, nope, that's not it. No, nope, that's not it. Uh, I need... Nope, that's not it. God damn it. Need more labels. Uh, charms class. Was it a charm? No, that's it's a potion. Potions classroom. There you go. I should be able to craft stuff there. Or I got to go to um, Hogsmeade for it. Where am I? All right, it's down here. Oh, it's not really down there. Can I just go to like any station or do I have to go to the one I was at? All right, so let's see. I can craft some Winger Weld, and then what is this? Endurance Potion. Do I have any of that? God damn it. Okay, that's gonna take a few seconds. Can also destroy the potion. What else can I, can I not make anything else? All right, let's pick that up. Okay, purchase from J. Pippin's Potions. Visibility, Thunder Brew, Focus Potion. Okay, so I need to go to Hogsmeade and buy these potions. And I need Ashwinder Eggs and Mongrel Fur. Don't know where I could get that. But let's, let's try it at Pippin's. So let's go to the... I gotta buy the recipes for these. Alright. Let's go over to Hogsmeade. Let's try not to... Which one is potions? Man, that's the magic heap. That's the broad pick and what? what? Is this? Clothing, no, that's clothing, that's a clothing shop. Uh, damn, I, I don't know. Which, which one had... Damn it, it was just... Uh, take a Clementine... We'll, we'll, I don't know what that is. No, screw it. It's just teleport there and then I'll I'll figure it out later. Okay, so I finally found it. And it's had a sad damn course for it. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have Thank you. Hey man, I just need you to tell me where I can find these recipes. What can I do for you today? Okay, I need a few things. I need a maximum. God damn, why is that 500? I do need these two. Okay, I don't need that one. I, why is that 1200? I cannot buy both. Yo, what? I gotta come back to this mission then. A focus potion is 1200. What the hell? Like, what's in this thing anyways? Oh, Since it's the most expensive. Thank you. 
I'll buy that. And I... God damn it. I guess I'll buy this one too. Since I need it. Alright, I got half the things I need. That was This was such a disappointment. Such a big waste of time. Because like... I get like 13 coin... Every other time I go out. That's so... Oh, wow. All right, let me find this other flu flame, activate it, and then I'll get going to... What? Which way are you taking me? Yeah, okay. Let me activate this flu flame, and then I'll just go right over to... Ah, Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I bet. Got that going? Okay. When 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 did she assign that? Whatever. Um, the map, where he at? Yeah, I damn. He all the way over here. He wants me to walk over here? I mean, would this be easier going, going this way? If not, I have to go walk all the way over here and over there. Damn it. Thing is, like, I don't have none of these unlocked. I do have this, so they'll get me halfway there. Can I like run my broom? How do I? How do I? How do I run my, my broom? That's cool. Um. Hmm. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yeah. Okay, let's see. How do I activate my broom? Here. Broom. As oh, a perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament, you can upgrade the broom. It's right. Essentials, Aurelio. Basic cast. HA magic throw. Uh, hold on. Okay, so let's see what to do now. All right, so how the hell do I activate my broom? All right, um, that's what is that? That's a, a focus potion, which I have zero. That's currently locked, I think. I don't know if that does. Then, all right, so let's just keep going. Oh, wait, what's that? Bet. All right. I got that in the bag. Hold on, what does that say? If entered an area that allows flight, press tab, then tap three to equip the broom on your tool wheel. Okay. That's actually very helpful because I was just trying to figure that out right now. Alright, so tab. And three. Nope, oh, damn, wrong button. Press control. Tab. There you go. There you go. Look at that. That's better. Yo, this is so dope. All right, so, uh, oh my god, I'm so I'm so happy. Ooh. <laughs> oh wow, I am absolutely in love with this game. Holy shit! All right, this is cool. All right, let's just fast forward when we get there. Okay, so now we are starting our descent. Let's see how I do. All right, so coming in for a control landing. Hold on, I think I'm coming too fast. Hold on. Oh goddamn! Shit. Hold on, what am I doing now? Oh damn, I hit that. My bad. God damn, that was a rough raining. Landing, that's it, raining? Either way, uh, we're actually going to end it here for tonight, so thank you all for watching. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.